All right, joining me now, Montana Congressman Ryan Zinke, former Interior Secretary, great friend. Uh, Mr. Congressman Ryan Zinke, so on the one hand, tomorrow the EPA may end all gas-powered cars. But wait a minute, on the front page of the Wall Street Journal today, Oxy, Occidental Petroleum, has new carbon capture that will allow them to drill and refine more oil products. So I ask you, which is better? Which is more likely? Well, a little bit of both. Uh, one is I have to hand it to the Biden administration. They're consistent. Unfortunately, they're consistently wrong. So, you know, first on the, on the move to EV, you know, just, Larry, when we get to be energy independent, right? And believe me, the world's a lot better off when, when the U.S. produces the energy. But the moment we become independent, and I would say in some areas dominant, this administration backtracks and go, we want to be now vulnerable with China on the supply chain. And, and look, the EV world, what makes the EV world? You have cobalt, lithium, critical minerals, all controlled and processed in China. You have on the, on the solar side, most of the solar cells are in China. The Inflation Reduction Act itself was, could have been renamed the Chinese Stimulus Act. Mm -hmm. And so now we're positioning ourselves to be more vulnerable to China in our energy needs and it's subsidized. So look, if we're gonna manufacture in this country, we have to have reliable, affordable and abundant energy. And on, on, th on this area, by administration, strike one, strike two, strike three. Well, heck, it was the bailout China bill to begin with. By the way, that Inflation Reduction Act, badly named, probably cost over a trillion dollars. And Janet Yellen finally acknowledged that it was a climate bill. It had nothing to do with inflation. But what about what Oxy's doing? I find that fascinating. Carbon capture, they'll be able to drill more, they'll be able to refine more. What do you think of that, Ryan Zinke? Well, you know, it's interesting, as, as you point out, it, a, a little bit expected with Oxy, but the idea that somehow you're going you're gonna to capture the carbon, which comes at a price, right? This is not free. But, but in order to, order to capture the carbon, then you're going to be able to produce more and, and have the end game of, of energy. I agree with American energy is the best energy, but you also have to make energy make sure it's affordable. And, and here's the irony, is that no one does it better than the U.S. You know, when, when, when we were in, in, in power, you know, I first came in, we were 8.3 million barrels a day and declining. Two short years, 12.5 million barrels a day, the world's largest exporter of energy, gas was two bucks a gallon, and we lowered emissions. So if you want to do it cleaner, better, then do it in the U.S. I think, I think Oxy is, is responding to where this administration is. I mean, I mean, they are looking at it singularly as we're going to go EV, we're going to go carbon free, but at, at what cost? Enormous amount of cost, not a lot of return, and it just provides China with the edge. And remember, Larry, China is the largest polluter. Yes. They emit more, more pollution. And as far as, you know, oceans, and I was a Navy SEAL, the lot, a lot of time now is spent in the Pacific, you know, looking at it. But look, 90% of the world's plastic in the oceans comes from four rivers in China. Yep. There's floating, right. uh, you know, island plastic made in China that are 800 kilometers diameter. Talk soon. Talk soon. Brian Zinke, great American. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Folks, I'll be right back.